lovely stuff of cane. Right, good stuff. So just a really little bit of warming ourselves up, not too much. Um, I'm just gonna roll the shoulders a couple of times. Most of our legs get warm as we're doing it, so you don't need too much body prep. Just a little circle with the head, just loosen up the neck. Again, everything is standing today, changing direction, and we're going to hit the bum, the thighs, out of thighs, inner thighs, quads, everything. Lovely. Let's lift one heel, so you're just pushing the foot forward, letting the feet separate. A lot on the feet today, so we do want the ankles and feet warm and change sides. So you're just sort of splaying out those toes, really pushing on the ball of the foot, getting a nice stretch. And again, change. And then we'll walk through it. So we're just warming up knees and feet. Lovely. Then let's lift both heels, lift and lower. So we're warming up the calves now, getting a bit of strength in the ankles. You can go as high as you like, just don't let them roll in or out. Try and keep them nice and steady. Again, still thinking of squeezing the tummy in. That's your centre of balance. Your core, shoulders are back and down. We're nice and tall. Ears over the shoulders, shoulders over hips, hips over knees. One more. Lovely. So I want to start lifting the right knee. And then left. So we're starting to warm the body up a bit, get the heart rate up. And we don't want to take the body down. We lift the knee up. So if it's only small, that's fine. There's not um, too much progression today. Most things are what they are. It's just how much you do the move, how much you make the move really deep. Let's add some arms. I am expecting a delivery, so apologies if I suddenly have to run out the door. But it's only small. And then come back. But they might not be here tomorrow. Four more, three more, two, and one. Lovely. So make sure you've got a bit of space behind you. You're going to take the right leg back and I'm going to swing it forward like I'm kicking it. So it's just a swing and back, little bend down to get this ready. Swing and back, so squeeze the tummy. Bit of balance going on here. Your leg is not straight because we don't want to get those hamstrings yet. If you want to take the arms out, out. Lift, squeeze the tummy again, keep the body up tall, lift the legs to the body. Three, two more. Lovely. Good. Let's change legs. You can start small. Again, your arms are optional on this one. Little dip, swing, and dip and swing. Lovely. You want to add arms. Sometimes arms can make it easier. Sometimes they make it harder. It just depends. I like it for the balance. Think it helps. Makes you pull up nice and tall for. Three, two, one, lovely. So we're going to take the leg behind, a little curtsy, because we're going to take it out to the side, okay? So leg down, lift it up. Behind, so only a small bend, lift it up. Behind, lift up. Arms if you need them. Four more. Three, two, so our hips are nice and warm. So the other side. And lift. And lift. And lift. Grand arms. Lift. That's it, again, getting the elbow. Knee up to the elbow. Four, three, two, one. Oh, lovely. Well, lots of water today. So it's hot. We're moving quite a lot more. Okay. So we're going to arm training sideways. You can stay forwards. So just a bit about positioning for our lunge. <clears throat> so lunge is really the wrong word because it makes you think you're lunging forward. It's actually a one, one legged squat, really. Step your right leg back. Now you don't want your back to arch, you want to tuck underneath and pull in. So we're in this position, this is stretch, and you're just dipping the leg up and down, so it's completely straight, there's no bending. So where is your knee? If your knee is really going forward, you need to take this leg back further, so you've got a nice big space. Hence, sometimes shoes help. How far are you 
you take this down and up, it's up to you. Squeeze the bottom, push the heel and lift. And breathe. I mean, no real levels today, but just make them smaller or bigger movements. Another eight of these. Eight. I can really feel it. Keep those hips tucked under. And five. Four. Three. Two, last one, hold it down, pulse. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, uh, one. Oh, goodness. So we're gonna change sides. So I'm just gonna face the other way. So this time I'm taking this leg back. And again, making sure I've got enough space so that I can take this knee down at this nice angle. And this is also at a nice angle. Tuck under, squeeze, and lower. And lift. The further apart your feet are, the better it's for your knees. If you've got your knee here, it's a lot of pressure. So, big, far apart step, even if it's a small dip. Uh, we've got another eight here. Eight. Push into this front heel. Seven. And six. And five. Keep the chest up. Squeeze it on me. Three. Two. One more. Hold down and pulse. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Last. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Oh, oh. Three, two, and one. Oh, my God. Sorry to say we've got another set. But we're going to do it with the weight this time. And this is to add imbalance that throws you off a bit. So if you work the core. Optional. Same leg again. So I'll switch sides and now my right leg's back. If you want to, what we're going to do is go down, hands here, twist towards the leg that is bent, that's in front, twist, in and up, down, twist, in and up. You want to add the weight, it just challenges a bit more. So again, with or without, tuck under, maybe notice this time because you've got a weight, feels a bit different, might want to go so low. This is eight, we've got eight more of these. We can do it oh. as an add-on if you want. Arms up, down, twist, in, lift. So you have got some levels there, no weight. Weight in front, weight in the air. Oh, this is killing my legs. Oh. We've got four more, we can do it. Squeeze the tummy, squeeze the butt. Keep breathing. Last two, last one. Oh. Changing sides. Tuck under, pull in. Here, first eight, have it here. Down, twist. Set works those obliques a little bit more. It's also making your core work. Especially if you haven't got shoes on, you haven't got such a solid big amount on your foot. So my feet are very thin. That's my excuse. It's like being on ice skates. That's really hard. See, we didn't even notice we're halfway through. Four. Three. Two. And one. We've got another eight. But with the arm up if you wish. And down. Two is. And lift and down. Oh, halfway through. Last four, we can do this. Four. And three. And two. And one. Oh my God. Ah. 
okay, it's tough. You'll be glad to know the lunge is over. <sighs> so we've really gone for these. So, give them a shake, have a drink. I'm gonna do some nice squats. So again, a little bit of technique for squats. You don't wanna arch your back. You have gotta keep your back straight. Almost tuck under a little bit. And your bottom goes back, not knees forward, back, and you squeeze up. So we've already really caned these. I want to hit attack the glutes. So really, attacking the glutes is getting down here. So it's up to you if you can get that low, but you want to get parallel at least. That's where you're going to work the glutes. So we're going to do, I'm going to face you forward now. We're going to do 16 of those, and then I'm going to add some leg raises, okay? So feet a bit bigger than shoulder width. And again, hands here or out, whatever you want to do. And squat down and lift. And down and lift. Down and lift. Lovely stuff. Squeeze that bottom on the way up. Use the breath, it will help. Breathe in, breathe out. This is eight, we've got eight more here. We can do it, squeeze ladies. Think of those juicy bums. We are gonna have a nice peachy bum. Two more. Last one, hold it down and fold. Third two, hold the tummy in. Don't arch the back if you're feeling your back, come a bit higher. Four, three, Two and one. Whew. We're gonna do some leg raises now, work the side and then a combination. Oh. So, standing on your right leg, left leg to the side, a little bit of a bend, and lift, and lift. You can tap it down or you can keep it in the air, but have your foot flexed, your knee forward, try not to turn out. We're gonna work the thighs a bit later. Now, I wanna focus on this. Lovely. Four, two, one, got another eight. So most stuff is in sets of 16 today. Best way of losing fat is working your legs. They're the biggest muscle in your body, they use up the most calories. So if you do squats, like this, it's going to burn more than sort of running. And release, let's pulse. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. So you can feel the foot on the other leg working as well. So now we're on the left. Again, let the knee soften a little bit. I'm trying to grab my foot because it falls in. I've got fallen arches. And lift, and lower, foot this way, lift, and lower. So it's not going to go very high because the angle, if you turn it out, completely different, turning it in. Small angles. We've got another eight here, eight. These ones give us a little breather. Four more, three, one side always easier than the other, especially with your balance. Let's pulse it. Eight. Ah, there she goes. Seven, six, five. Hold the tummy if you need it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're going to squat and leg raise. So we shall squat in the middle, leg raise up to the side. Squat in the middle. Up to the side. This squat, my feet are a little bit closer, I'm not going as deep. It's more a bit of a bounce to get the leg up. Squat and lift and squat and lift. And squat should be feeling in these bits, these sides, these bits we want to get rid of, and make it nice and smooth. And lift. Squeeze. Use the breath. Four, three, two, 
Okay. So squat now with a heel raise. So squat, feet just a bit wider than sort of hip width on your shoulders. And we squat down. And two, and pulse. Three, and four, tuck those hips under. Five, and six, and seven, and eight, and switch, and one. And two, keep the neck long. And four, five, six, seven, change size with four. One, and two, and three, and four. Squeeze the tummy, change. One, and two, and three, and four. We're doing twos. One, and two, and one, and two, and singles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh shake. Okay. Nearly there, nearly there, halfway through. We're going to do wide squats now to start to work the inner thigh. And this is where you have to take your feet out and apart. So your squats are nice and low. Try and get your feet parallel. Feet nice and wide. We can start with hands on the hips. Put under. Down. Squeeze the bottom down. Push on the heels. Squeeze, squeeze the bottom. Lovely. And eight more. Seven. Squeeze that bum. Six. Try and keep the chest up. Try not to lean forward. Two more, one more, lift the right heel, pulse, and turn, press three, wherever your arms are easiest. Not easy is probably not a good description here. Change side, eight, seven, wherever they need to be. Try and put them on your legs, you're gonna push down, so hips on the front. Change side, four, one, two, three, squeeze the tummy, change, one, Two, oh my goodness. I think I can make it two more. We can do it two. Change for two. Eight singles. Heel, 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 heel. Four more. Three, two, one. Oh. Lovely. Oh, okay. Grab your screen. So now, this is a lunge. So we're lunging side to side. Just do a few little ones, just to get those legs loosened up. Then I'm gonna to start to reach the arms out. And then I'm gonna reach the arms down. So bend. Reach, stretching here, and change, and change, change. I think that could be my delivery. Four from that minute. Three, two, one. Let's do another eight, eight. Feet a bit wider, feel those legs working. Nice flat back, four, hold the tummy in. Now can we put the hands on the floor, do the same. Two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, and another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Our feet in, coming up. Oh, whose legs feel like jelly? I do. Just have a little bit of a march up for a minute. Yeah. What I might do is the last section on the floor actually is it's quite heavy. Whew. Let's do another one of those. So feet nice 
and wide and lean and reach 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 and reach 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 can we rotate the body as well reach 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 four three let's put the hands on the floor and continue reach 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 last eight and then we'll hold on one side four three two hold it here you can take it all the way down give that leg a stretch then we can bring it in not really lady like and then just stretch the other one Lovely. Okay, coming up, we'll do it standing, we can do it slightly different. So this is going to strengthen that back a little bit because we're probably feeling it a bit on the back doing all those squats. So I'm going to use something to hold on to. You can use a ball if you want. So stand on one leg, we're going to tip forward slightly, back leg comes off and it lifts and lower, keep supporting the bent, lift and lower, try not to lean too much, lift, lower, lift and lower keep your hips square so we're not rotating lift lower lift lower lift hold the leg up bend the supporting leg bend and straighten bend and straighten bend and straighten bend and straighten four more oh i'm shaking keep breathing keep squeezing two more i'm just going to change sides other leg, bent knee, lift up and lower, and lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Four more here, four more, and three, and two, and one. Kick up, bend and lower your supporting leg. Lift, bend, lift, bend, lift. We've got four more, four, three, two. One. We're going to stretch out on the floor. Do quite a lot of stretching. You've worked a lot. So sit yourself down. Get your breath back. Feet here, and just hold a moment to breathe. Bring your heart rate down. Woo! It's a lot of heart rate. One fifty-eight. Working really hard. And then lean forward. Lovely little stretch for the back. Gonna pop onto the side and stretch that lower back. Let's come back up. So let's take some nice stretch for the back as well. So sitting in front, let's bring the right leg in to the thigh. So I'm going to hold this leg with this hand so I can turn towards the bent leg, so turning towards your right, have the hand down, reach up, and you're reaching up, 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 feel that stretch in the back, this is all about up at the moment, look to your elbow, your eye, your elbow, try and get the shoulder back, oh that breeze, it's hot today, just good weather for a glass of wine after this hard workout. Turn your chest down, push down. So this is stretching our hamstring. We'll do a little bit more stretch. This is a good one. If you can flex that foot a bit, reach it on the floor, it works for you. I'm going to add on. Take the leg and put it across. The leg, make sure it's not on the knee, so if you have to, have it lower down. This forces the leg 
down, so now lean forward and you're really stretching here, but you're pushing this underneath leg flat so you get a bit more of a stretch. If this hurts the knees, just stay where you were. Hands on the floor, keeping this foot where it is. Slide the foot up. Push yourself towards your leg. Then let the legs go down to the side. If you can get your bottom on the floor, great. If it's too much on this knee, just take your leg out. My knee feels a bit iffy sometimes. Pull yourself in, rotate and look. Lean with the shoulder, let the head follow. Try not to have any stress in the neck. Lovely. Let's change side. Just before we do both legs out, reach forward, reach up and reach forward and up and reach forward. Up one more, then we reverse. We reach down and back, up and down and back, up and down and back. Last one, down and hold. Take the left leg into the thigh, using the hand to push yourself away, hands behind, look behind, then reach the behind arm up and over, look into the eye of the elbow, feeling a lovely stretch all around the back at the moment. Try and get this shoulder back to get a nice rotation in the upper body as well. A four way stretch, it does everything glutes, hamstrings, back, arms. Turn the body to the leg and reach forward. Coming up, let's cross this leg over the thigh if we can. Again, it's pushing down on the leg, making sure it's not on the knee, don't want to press on the knee, and just lean forward. So again, feeling it a bit more here, but into that leg as well. Doing well, doing well. Perfectly on time. Just going over a few minutes, we didn't start till five past. Let's have hands down, bring the foot up, push yourself towards your leg, feeling the stretch in your hip. Few breaths here. Let's roll over. My knees are right this side. I'm gonna stay here to make sure your bottom is on the floor. Pull the leg in. You're pulling it in towards you and just twisting away from it. Same thing, lead with the shoulder. Let the head just follow. Try not to do that with your head. You don't want to get a crick in your neck. But pulling up nice and tall. Lovely, let's release, let's come back to centre again, just a little stretch for in the thighs, having your legs in this feet, feet to feet, <laughs> lean forwards, feeling the stretch in your hips and your thighs. I'm going to take it out to second, you quite a lot of thigh work, should be nice and warm, so whatever works for you, and we're trying to pull up and your knees are up to the ceiling, so you don't want to be turned in. And if you can just reach forward, and we're just going to do this in stages as our last stretch. Don't worry if you're only here. Once the brain knows we're not in danger, it should start to loosen up here. And you can just, it's also hip flexibility as well as your legs. Can you reach a bit further forwards? Further. We'll stand up to do our very last stretch. Just tuck the legs in, gently come up to standing. Doing a nice little stretch here in the backs of the legs. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Step one foot forward, one foot back, lean into it. So heel is down, feeling this in the calf. 
Let's reach those hands back. Just a little chest stretch doesn't hurt. Oh. Release. While we're here, a little bit of hip flex. So lift your back heel, drop the knee, scoop forward. So we're stretching here. If you can't feel it, you can always grab onto your leg. It's just, if you push enough, you should feel a stretch here. Four, three, two, one. We're just going to turn the other way. So we're starting with the back heel down. This time we'll lean into it, press away. Really push on that back heel. Release, lift the heel, down and scoop. Four, three, two and one. Come back to centre, let's have a little breath in to finish. Well done, that was really hard today. I am like jelly. <laughs> ah. One more, how shall we bring? Stop the recording, unmute and speak too quickly. Thank you so much, everyone. Well done, that was really good, really tough.